Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do another installment on the DIY brain interface. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. Today we're going to do some improvements on my DIY brain computer interface and DIY prosthetic slash training rig. A little background on this. What I did some time ago, and this is all documented on my YouTube channel, step by step of the build. What I did is I took this unit, the MindFlex Dual Headset Game by Mattel. This is a mind control game. Uh, you can pick it up for under 40 bucks. I took it, I mean you get two headsets by the way. I took it and I hacked the headset and piped out the serial data from the headset out to an Arduino board. And what I did step by step initially was see if I could actually get some half decent readings on this. I was pretty happy with the results. So as I was building what you see in front of you is my InMove robotic arm. This is my 3D printed robotic arm. Uh, it's open source. You can print one of these. As I was printing that, I kept doing more and more testing and I was getting more and more thrilled with the results. For, for a Mattel game, this does work as a DIY EEG. Um, it's really rudimentary and it's not fancy. I, I can't afford one of the really high-end medical units by any stretch. But I wanted to see if I could actually control something with my brain. I interfaced it to the robot arm and what my hope was initially and it was it was spawned by a video I saw once of a, a gentleman who was paralyzed and uh, had no movement from the neck down and he had been doing some uh, brain interface work with one of the major universities I think um, and he was able to operate a robot arm with his brain and he made a comment that really struck a nerve with me. He said that was the first time he'd been able to hold his wife's hand in many years. That really resonated with me. And I really thought, well, what can we do? These is a prosthetic limb, let alone a brain-controlled one from uh, our Western Medical Society, well beyond the reach of most of the world. Just not going to happen. Crazy amount of money would go into it. So I said about doing it myself on a budget. I had shot for under a hundred Canadian dollars. I think I probably blew over that by a little bit because mainly the price of the servos. The, uh, the plastic for the in-move costs very little. The headset, like I mentioned, you get two of them for 40 bucks. I was able to make it work. You can see it in my previous videos. I was able to actually do open and closed. So today I decided to try and mod the code tonight. Let's see where we go whereby maybe we can do proportional control as per the brain activity level. That's what I'm shooting for. So we're going to see if we can take the attention value out of the headset and map it to the output from the arm. And uh, perhaps we'll get something pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's check it out. Alrighty guys, so what I did is I went ahead and went back in time and we took the original UNO sketch and uh, re-uploaded it just with the brain graphing software. And this is just the brain waves live uh, from my head right now. I just got a couple of little connection issues here. There we go, that should be getting a little better. And this shows us our various brainwave patterns. So let's go ahead and go back to the InMove sketch. And I'll see if I can get this connection a little bit better. And we'll see what we can do for proportional control on the hand with these, with these brainwaves. Alrighty guys, so what I did is I modded the code to uh, do a proportional pinch command depending on the attention value coming from the headset. 
And uh, just before I fired up the camera, I'm finding it's hard to get my brain to uh, to do what I wanted to do here. So I'm hoping that uh, I uh, I can get the attention value up. And as we move up in attention, we come on. <laughs> if I can get my brain to work here, come on up. We should do more of a pinch command as we move higher in the range. And what I did is I scaled it from the very bottom of the range all the way to the top. From the 0 to 100 equals 0 to max deflection on the servo. And I'm thinking that's going to be tricky for me tonight, especially since I'm having trouble keeping a decent connection showing to the headset. So I'm going to pause here. So I had to get really bad at it to get my brain to go that high. I had to actually basically scream at the thing to go up, 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 up. <laughs> and yeah, and now it uh, refuses to comply as usual. Guys, this is a little bit of fun. Um, these things aren't perfect, and uh, I haven't done any training here. I should really spend some time on this and and get some brain training done. And maybe I can affect the thing a little bit more reliably. There we go. I'm actually clinching muscles and there we go that's uh th that's just my brain guys i uh i'm not doing anything else so uh i'm really really happy about that i might scale the deflection a little bit smaller so we don't have to go full scale because i don't have too much of a problem going from uh about uh i'd say a third to a half if I if I actually really sit and think about it, I can usually get it to deflect that far on command. So, I don't know. Maybe it's my brain needs training, or maybe I need to mod the code to be a bit more user-friendly. But at the end of the day, I can actually do proportional output on these fingers, depending on that attention bar, which is coming from my head right now via the ethernet cord going into the in move into the uno the uno is reporting the serial data back to the computer just for display purposes the computer doesn't control the the arm at all so important to note that the the pc is strictly for user feedback here which i may transfer to an lcd display uh, i'm not sure yet but i have a another idea for this and uh, maybe I'll do a little bit of tweaking on this code here. I, uh, I went and I scaled that back down a little bit. So now from 0 to 65 we should have proportional output in comparison to the attention output. Should be able to get that... There we go. Perfect. Should be able to get that to work a lot better. Uh, I've got a little bit of a problem with the retract on this finger. Huh, wonder what happened there. Anyway, all part of the fun. So, thanks for watching, guys. This is this is the extent of where I'm at. We now have a DIY 3D printed robot arm with an Arduino, and the Arduino is controlling it right from my brainwaves at all times. Uh, pretty darn cool, I have to say. Pretty happy with that. So, see what I can do next. Thanks for joining, guys.